Roof Together, an online service, January 3rd, 2021. A People of Imagination Welcome from Paul Vaz Vazdik. Hello and welcome to the online service of the Rogue Valley Unitarian Universalist Fellowship, which we call Roof. My name is Paul Vosdick, or Vaz. I'm a member of this congregation because the people and mission of Roof helped me define my values and put them into action. These online services are our way of connecting to each other and continuing to keep the mission of our congregation and association before us and out into the world. We're glad you're here, and we ask you to join us in embracing diversity, empowering connection, and engaging in this work. Each week, we acknowledge that the land on which we live is the traditional home of the Shasta, Tacoma, and Lakawa people. We remind ourselves that indigenous people are part of our community and continue to experience the effects of colonization and conquest. We also commit ourselves to work for a world in which the lives, work, bodies, dreams, and leadership of black people are honored and respected. We are committed to fighting for the worth and dignity of people in our community and the dignity of people throughout the world. We remind ourselves each week that we must put our words and our principles into action every day for justice and the common good. Welcome and thank you again for being with us. Without leaps of imagination or dreaming, we lose the excitement of possibilities. Dreaming, after all, is a form of planning. Gloria Steinem. Jimmy Carter said, We know that a peaceful world cannot long exist, one-third rich and two-thirds hungry. Each first Sunday of the month, we take an extra offering, not for ourselves, but for the Ashland Emergency Food Bank. Since 1972, the food bank has provided food to residents of Ashland, Talent, and surrounding rural communities. Each month, over 600 families, representing approximately 1,700 individuals, come to the food bank for food. They include the unemployed and underemployed, the working poor, students, seniors, those with disabilities, and the homeless. Approximately 35% are children under the age of 18. Thanks to the generosity of faith-based organizations and the community at large, the food bank is able to provide each individual or family who visits with enough groceries to provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two to three days. What do you need most? Well, soups are usually good. Okay. We're kind of set on beans at the moment. Okay. So that's one thing we don't need. Okay. Uh, now the green bag pickup, that has started up again. That has, yes. Uh-huh, and there will be another collection in early December, I believe. Yes, this, uh, Saturday, December 12th will be our food drive. The food bank is now accepting food donations in small quantities, but are grateful for monetary donations which help keep the community fed. To donate to the Ashland Emergency Food Bank, you can send a check to Ashland Emergency Food Bank or AEFB Post Office Box 3578 Ashland, Oregon. 97520 or you can give online at ashlandefb.org slash donations thank you so much for your generous gifts chalice lighting words by shell silverstein if you are a dreamer come in if you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer, if you're a pretender, come sit by my fire, for we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in, come in. Our opening song is How We Love 
by Beth Nielsen Chapman, performed by Chloe Vaught from the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of Santa Monica. taught me this every day is new and if anything is true all that matters when we're through is how we love faced with what we love some things fall apart But from the ashes new dreams start All that matters to the heart Is how we love How we love Our peace candle words are by Graham Greene and Frederick Buchner. Hate is a lack of imagination. Graham Greene If we are to love our neighbors before doing anything else, we must see our neighbors. With our imagination as well as our eyes, that is to say, like artists. We must see not just their faces, but the life behind and within their faces. Here, it is love that is the frame we see them in.
Peace, salam, shalom. Peace, salam, shalom. Peace, salam, shalom. Peace, salam, shalom. Our story is What We'll Build by Oliver Jeffers from Storytime with Suzanne. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to read you another Oliver Jeffers story. This one is called What We'll Build. Plans for our together future. On the back cover it says, what shall we build you and I? I'll build your future and you'll build mine. We'll build a watch to keep our time. Oh, here's the tools they're going to use to build something. What shall we build, you and I? Let's gather all of our tools for a start. Do you guys recognize most of those tools? I like that there's a green crayon in there and a little pig. I'm not sure what those are for. For putting together and taking apart. Like they made a mistake. Let's build a door where there was none. We'll build a house to be our home. I'll build your future and you'll build mine. We'll build a watch to keep our time. We'll build some love to set aside. Looks like they're having fun. And build a hole where we can hide. A fortress to keep our enemies out and higher walls for when they shout. But you don't always lose and you don't always win. So we'll build a gate to let them in. We'll build a table to drink our tea and say, I'm sorry. Me too. Me three, says the witch. We'll build a tower to watch the sky and other worlds that pass us by. I see a Martian up there, do you guys? Let's build a tunnel to anywhere. Let's build a road up to the moon. Let's build a comfy place to rest, for we'll be tired soon. Do you think they're up on the moon? It might be. Maybe that's Earth in the distance. What do you think? Let's build a boat that can't be broken that will not sink or be cracked open. A place to stay when all is lost, to keep the things we love the most. <laughs> Looks like the fox is interested in their toolbox, doesn't it? We'll put these favorite things beside the earlier love that we set aside.
I think that we may want them later when times are hard and needs are greater. But first things first, let's build a fire. For we've planned a lot and now we're tired. It'll keep us warm like when we're born. Then we'll say good night as all's all right. These are the things we'll build, you and I. The end. What a beautiful story. I love Oliver Jeffers' stories and his illustrations. I think they're just beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. His stories also allow us to use our imagination in really fun ways. He has a great imagination. Hope you have a great rest of the day. And if you're listening to this at bedtime, sweet dreams. Come back so I can read to you soon. Bye for now. Please center yourself to Sleepers Awake by Johann Sebastian Bach, Mike Filbert on the guitar, and Jacqueline Rosen, flute. It is not what we have that matters. What matters is what we give away with love. Debasis Mrita. You can give by mail to 87 4th Street, Ashland, Oregon, 97520, or online at tinyurl.com roof offering. You can give by texting the amount of your gift to 541 Two two nine four two two nine. So if you'd like to give a hundred dollars, text one hundred to that number. If you need support during this difficult time, contact Reverend Sean using the form on our website. We will do our best to help. For these gifts and for all the gifts you bring to our community and to the world. Thank you. Our readings are by Sharon Delos Parks and Jalal Adin Rumi. Inside this new love, die. Your way begins on the other side. Become the sky. Take an axe to the prison wall. Escape. Walk out like someone suddenly born into color. Do it now. 
You are covered with thick cloud. Slide out the side. Die and be quiet. Quietness is the surest sign that you have died. Your old life was a frantic running from silence. The speechless full moon comes out now. As the summer went on and I kept staring at the pottery, I slowly started to notice something more than just the brokenness. Some of the pieces of clay, however broken, were really quite beautiful. Later in the summer, I found out about the business of pottery mending. This tedious work goes on year-round in a cathedral-like building not far from the Tell. Here ancient vessels have been slowly and carefully reconstructed. I remember being completely amazed at seeing those huge restored jugs for the first time. How could anyone have possibly managed to piece together so many small, nondescript chips of clay? Seeing those restored vessels encouraged me to imagine perhaps that at least some of the world's brokenness could be overcome. I began to picture myself in a kind of vocation of mending of repairing some of the world's brokenness, to mend the world, to proclaim a radical vision of social transformation that would prevent future brokenness from occurring. These are the tasks that I perceive the world to be demanding of me. Our Soul Matters theme for January, Imagination, sometimes gets a bad rap. As kids, if our minds wandered, or if we preferred stories and pretending to the real world, we would hear things like, get your head out of the clouds, pay attention, or don't be such a dreamer. The notion that imagination and dreaming are the opposite of reality, hard work, and the future is an odd idea. Constructing a binary with a gap between the imaginary and the real means that we've created a distance between what is and what can be, between us and transformation. And with that, we've given up some of our power to change. When John Lennon wrote Imagine, he said, you may think that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Reminding us that dreaming is one of the ways to imagine a future without war, without violence, without hatred. And when Gloria Steinem adds that dreaming is a way of planning, she reconnects us to the part of us that can begin the creation of new ways, new values, and new directions. When we give up or are forced to abandon our capacity for imagining different futures, we become captive to the monotony of the present and those who benefit from it. We lose our ability to dream a new way into being, to imagine worlds and lives that are safer, more just, and more fulfilling. And without those dreams, we start to lose hope. When Sharon Delas Parks was able to see the pot mending, the shards becoming new pots, even though it was hard work, it restored her dream and her hope. And as she wrote, it encouraged me to imagine perhaps that at least some of the world's brokenness could be overcome. I began to picture myself in a kind of vocation of mending, of repairing some of the world's brokenness. To mend the world, to proclaim a radical vision of social transformation that would prevent future brokenness from occurring. I want us to begin to picture ourselves in a kind of vocation of mending, so radical and so dreamy that 
We don't just fix what's already broken. We proclaim a radical vision of social transformation that prevents future brokenness from occurring. I want us to celebrate imagination and to practice being a people of imagination. What would it mean for us at the beginning of a new year, still in the middle of a hard reality, to dream big? You see, that's one of the things about being dreamers. You dream of what can be in the middle of what is. It's not separate. We dream at the very same time we do what must be done in the world. We imagine the future and invest it with hope and effort right here and right now. We slide out the side of our old life here under the great moon of love and imagination. We dream and we plan and we get to work. We imagine a celebration with lights and music and givings and greetings and then we make it happen. We imagine ways, even small ways, to help and that turns into sharing a home with a family or being the first to host the pallet shelters that will keep people safe from the cold. This month we are going to imagine how we might live into our mission even more than we already do, which is a kind of dream for who we want to be. We'll take a Sunday to imagine embracing diversity, one to dream of the ways we can empower connection, and a third to imagine ways to engage in the work. And then we'll dream up more e-words, or at least more ways we want to be as a community and in the world. Maria Montessori wrote, imagination does not become great until human beings, given the courage and strength, use it to create. So let's imagine, dream, plan, hope, and create together. May it be so. May we be the ones who make it so. Amen, Ashe, and blessed be. Our closing song is Give a Little Love by Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers, performed by the Virtual Crescendo Choir of the First Unitarian Church of Oakland, California. We've got to give a little love, have a little hope, make this world a little better. Try a little more, harder than before, just do it, we can do it together. Oh, oh, oh. we can really make it better. Oh, 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 la, 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 only if we try. Oh, oh, oh. we can really make it Oh, 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 la, 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 only if we try. Living in this crazy world, so caught up in the confusion, nothing is making sense for me and you. Maybe we can find a way, there's got to be solution, how to make a brighter day. What do we do? We've got to give a little love, have a little hope, make this world a little better. Try a little more, harder than before, just do it, we can do it together. Oh, oh, oh. we can really make it better. Oh, oh, la, 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 only if we try. transform ourselves 
and our world, we need to be able to leap out of the familiar and into the unknown. The first step in doing this is to imagine a future different from the past, a self-sense different from the one we have now. The imagination can help us begin to replace our internal patterns, especially the ones that keep us limited and stuck. If we can reimagine our sense of who we are, we can change our experience of life. Sally Kempton Join us each Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific for Zoom Coffee Hour. Sign up for our email list on our website to receive information on how to connect each week.